Hello, Tubies. I come back to you again today. Um, I'm going to do a little vlog today. Um, trying to get in the way of the sun here so you don't have to see the sun. Uh, but oh well. Um, because I'm using my webcam, it's going to be kind of difficult. But anyway. Um, it just looks like I'm divine. Watch. <laughs> Sorry. ADOS, just like Charming Piece of Flora. Uh, if you want to know what that is, ask her. <laughs> um, Anyway, I woke up early this morning. I have a final to do about 10.40. It's about 10 o'clock right now. But um, My last final for the semester, and I'm so psyched about it because I'm so ready for this semester to end. Um, but at any rate, I woke up fairly early after four hours of sleep for some reason, and I turned on the TV to watch my one of my favorite shows, uh, A Haunting. It's the, the movie A Haunting came from this television show on Discovery Channel called A Haunting. I'm sure most of y'all have probably heard about it. But it raises up a good question I wanted to ask the general pagan Wiccan community. And maybe it's my lack of experience that I don't know this. Um, or my, yeah, my experience, my degrees, you know, system. Um, but through countless, countless centuries, you know, witches, Wiccan, well not Wiccans, but witches, pagans, sorcerers, shamans, wise women, midwives, would all be sought out for the purpose of driving negative spirits out of the home. Um, and this is a practice we've developed even into today, and the Catholics do it in their exorcisms. And really, I must give them props, because it is kind of unparalleled, although it doesn't always work. Anyway, my question is, is like me personally, my sixth sense is empathic abilities. I feel the emotion, I mean, I feel the energy, um, as it is. Make sense? Kind of like, if it's an angry energy about us, I will be angry. If, if there's depressed energy, I'll be depressed. If there's really happy, I'll be really happy. If there's a really passionate one, I'll probably be very energetic. Um, I've learned to cope with it over the years, though. Um, but, anyway, it comes from people, it comes from just lingering energies entering there. And, uh, you know, that would be very beneficial for me to do if I was in that line of work. But the question is, I know there are many different ways of shielding, and I've, took, I've taught, I think I've made a video teaching how to create shields, and they're all positive, and they are good and healthy for you psychically, but how can we erect the shields in that type of situation, and yet still be able to encounter that energy on a positive level? Um, let me elaborate a little bit by saying we are able to put, when we put up our shields, we cast out all negativity, but if we're working with a negative entity, we have to be able to, in some way, accept it in, so that we may be able to resolve the issue at hand. So, what type of shield do we create that protects us, but yet we can still encounter the, our psychic messages, our entities of us? And I did a video a while back, like I said, about um, where I regressed the spirit in my, uh, my own bedroom. Um, the uh, the older woman, she, who didn't have a name, I couldn't get her name, um, but I regressed her anyway, I think you remember that. Um, I knew she was there because she made herself physically known, but the point is I wasn't able to psychically recognize her because I had shields up. And the question is, is how do I bring down the shields that I'm still protected, but yet still be able to not manipulate, but interact, I guess the word, yeah, interact with spirit. Um, and maybe I may not be advanced enough to know that, but I thought it was an interesting vlog for the day. How are we able to do that? We always can go through the house and clear it, uh, but how do we work with a particular spirit safely and still be able to use our sixth sense to be able to actively deal with it as such? Uh, with that note, I'll have to let y'all go, and I will be later on doing, like I said, doing a video on meditation, because it is chakra meditation, actually, because it is very important to learn, and uh, you know, I know this more than anybody else, to keep balance in life, we all have to be able to purify ourselves psychically, and so we can think straight and positively. Um, so yeah, I hope to do that. I am learning right now the Native American form of vision quests and project projectile how the natives, the natives I believe used to use the um, hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic drugs to be able to do so, but um, 
but anyway, um, figuring out ways to do that. So hopefully if I learn that, I will be able to show that to you before, you know, um, soon. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. I know this is kind of a long video, not about 5 minutes and 30 seconds, but, um, I really think I'm dropping by, and it was very interesting. It'll be very interesting to hear the kind of comments or video responses that we may get, or the how-tos, basically, how to do so. Um, basically, the central point of my question is around empathics, because um, there's not many books, for example, on how empaths can basically um, live their lives peacefully and happily without these intruding energies, yet still be able to use that capability. And I would want to be, I want to be one of the first that, that, that writes a book on that. So if anybody is able to lend me any information, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody has a safe, blessed, and magical week. And have a good day. Bye, everybody.